museum guard. My condolences to the man dressed for a funeral, sitting bored on a gray folding chair, the zero of his mouth widening in a yawn. No doubt he's pictured himself inside a painting or two around his station, stealing a plump green grape from the cluster hanging above the corkscrew logs of Dionysus, or shooting arrows at rosy-cheeked cherubs hiding behind a woolly cloud with time limping along like a brutal beggar. No matter he's even seen himself taking the place of the one crucified, the black spike of the minute hand piercing his left palm, the hour hand penetrating the right, nailed forever to one spot.